Welcome again. And in this session, we're going to be reading Luke chapter 11, verses 33 to 36. The light or lamp of the body, okay? So uh, this, is, this is an awesome uh, teaching here. These are the words in red. Let's get right to this. Luke chapter 11, verse 33. Jesus said, No one, when he has lit a lamp, put it, puts it in a cellar or under a basket, but on a stand, that those who come in may see the light. Yeah, like, that makes total sense. Why would you light a light and just cover it up? The light is there to illuminate the entire room, okay? Verse 34. The lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body is full of light. But when, the, when it is evil, your whole body is full of darkness. Therefore, see whether the light that is in you isn't darkness. If therefore your whole body is full of light, having no part, uh, having no part dark, it will be wholly full of light, as when the lamp, with its bright shining, gives you light. So here Jesus is like likening a lamp to your eyes. Okay. Now, knowing Jesus, he's not only just talking about physical eye. Okay, he's talking about your spiritual eye, the eye of your soul. How do you look at things? How do you look at other people? Do you look at them with light or do you look at them with darkness? Do you have an evil eye toward people or do you have a good eye toward people? I know a lot of people, it's almost impossible to actually have a, a really good, great eye toward them because they're just so evil. I mean, Jesus said to many people, he called them sons of Satan. Jesus himself called people sons of hell, sons of Satan, uh, hypocrites, uh, whitewashed tombs, all kinds of things. But you must have your eye, the eye of your soul, the eye of your spirit, as light. Don't look at the things of the world in in a certain way. Do not open your eyes. Do not let certain things into your eyes, okay? This is brings about the uh, the topic of pornography as long and many of other things out there. There's a lot of worldly evils out there. Uh, especially in the realm of uh, movies and videos and, and you know uh, concerts and anything that displays secular, worldly, fleshly lust and filth. Okay, do not let that trash get into you. Do not open your spiritual eyes to that stuff. Do not open your soul to that kind of stuff. Do not look at that kind of stuff. Your eyes are not trash cans, okay? You should not be watching secular TV. You should not be watching secular movies. You should not be listening to secular music videos. This stuff is trash and it will put out your light. Your whole spirit, your body, your soul will be full of darkness when you listen to this kind of stuff. And I tell you something, and I've said this for many years now. If there's anything that the developed world is good at, good at, if there's anything that, you know, the advanced world is good at, that is glorifying trash. America and much of the developed world today and all over the world, so many people and companies and organizations are just so good at glorifying trash, making idols out of evil people and evil things. Do not open your eyes to this kind of stuff. Do not let the evil secularism and sin cover up the light in your soul. Cover up the light in your eyes. You know what is good according to the law of God. You know what is righteous. You know what is holy and pure. You know what is good to look at. You know what is good to speak. You know the language that you should be using and you know the language you shouldn't be using. You know what you should be hearing. You know what you shouldn't be hearing. Do not open your soul to this kind of stuff. 
you are just like a fish biting on a worm that has a hook underneath it, okay? Satan will get you. Don't do that, okay? Keep yourself from that, as the scripture says over and over again. Keep yourself from worldliness. Keep yourself from sin. Keep yourself from secularism. That's the lesson of this session. So as you go, think about these things. Don't even, don't just think about them. Put it into practice. And may God enlighten the eyes of your understanding to show you things. Maybe that's in your heart. Maybe that's in your life. Maybe things that you're doing in your daily, your daily routine. Watching certain things on TV or cer certain shows you shouldn't be watching. Listening to certain kind of music you shouldn't be listening to. And may God give you the spirit and heart to repent. Give you the ability to turn off that stuff and say, No, I am changing my lifestyle. I am changing the way I'm living. I am changing the way I'm, what I'm looking at. Many of you guys out there, I know you know you might be addicted to pornography. May God give you the power to change. And God does, and He will. He can. Don't forget, God has all power over all sin. Even though it may seem daunting to you, I guarantee you, God does it, and He will do it. If you ask with all your heart, seek with all your all your heart, and knock and keep knocking, okay? He'll do it. Stay tuned uh, to what I'm going to say here uh, throughout these these teachings. Um, I'm going to get into how to overcome sin. I'm going to get into how to live victorious over sin and darkness. And I'm also going to talk about lots of other things. So don't forget to subscribe. I always check back. I'm going to be posting these kind of teachings as much as I can. As you go, may God enlighten the eyes of your understanding, give you a heart to understand, and show you great and mighty things. God bless you. Thank you.